In a previous video, I described how to define a class that's a member of another class. These are called simply member classes. When you define that sort of class, it's only visible to the class in which it's contained. I'm now going to dive a little bit further down the encapsulation rabbit hole and show you how to define a local inner class, a class that's defined within a code block, for example, a code block that's a part of a method definition, and is only visible within that code block. I'll demonstrate this using the project Local Classes, and I'll work with this class, olivejar.java. In this class, I have an existing method named report olives, which loops through the array list of olive objects and reports each olive's olive name property. I'm going to make an arbitrary rule for my application, purely for the point of demonstration, that before I can report the olives, I have to open the jar lid. And I'm also going to make another arbitrary decision that this class, the jar lid I'm about to create, is only ever going to be used within this one method. And so to completely encapsulate it, that is to hide it from the rest of the application, I'll define this special class within the method. I'll place the cursor after the opening brace of the method definition. So I'm within that code block, and I'll define a new class, which I'll name jar lid. Notice I don't use an access modifier. Because the class is defined within the code block, it's automatically private. It's only visible within that code block. Now, when I define the fields and methods of this class, they have to be instance members. You can't use static members in this context. So in order to call these methods, I'm going to need to instantiate this class. I'll create a new method, which I'll declare as public and void, and I'll name the method open. Within the open method, I'll output to the system a few words, twist, 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 and then pop. And I'll assume that that means that the lid is now open. So now, whenever anybody calls this open method, I'll see this output on the screen. Now, I'll move to after the class definition. I'm only going to instantiate the object once. So I'm going to instantiate it anonymously, and I'm going to immediately call the open method. That code will look like this. New jar lid. And from there, I'll call the open method. I'll save my changes, resulting in rebuilding the project, and all of my warnings and errors go away. I'll go back to the main class of my little application, where I'm calling the report olives method. And I won't need to make any changes there, because I've localized that class to the method, and I've called it within the method. I'll run the application, and there's the result. After all the initial output, I see the output twist, 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 and then pop, and then the looping output that's going through the olives and reporting their names. So you can define these local inner classes whenever you want to define functionality that's only ever going to be called in this one location. It's a way of creating complex functionality, but keeping it hidden from the rest of the application.